I mean, every manual transmission is different. Uh, I've been driving manual transmissions for many, many moons. To be honest, I have caught myself a few times, not actually done, are, are pretty short. They're not a lot to run out. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, just got done cruising around in the 2020 Tacoma today. And I thought I'd get on here and give you a little update as to uh, what I'm experiencing with the transmission now. You know, it's a manual transmission. And I put out a video uh, a little while ago about how clunky and noisy it was, right? Um, well, I got to say, it's, it's still clunky and noisy, but there is some improvement in it. Um, I've got right about 500 miles uh, in the seat now, driving this thing around, pretty much primarily uh, city-type driving, a little bit of freeway, um, but pretty much city-type driving. And I will say it is improving. So apparently there is somewhat of a break-in period with Toyota's manual transmission, as any other transmission. I mean, it's a brand new truck, so... You can expect that things need to get, you know, broken in, lubed up, notched out, you know, all that kind of stuff, especially with the manual transmission. So what do I mean by that? It, it's getting better. Well, and part of this is probably me. I'm sure there is some learning curve in here, right? Getting used to the new truck. I mean, every manual transmission is different. Uh, I've been driving manual transmissions for many, many moons, and I can tell you they're all a little bit different. They all have their little nuances, right? Um, so let's talk about reverse, first of all, because I had mentioned in the other video about how weird reverse is in the Toyota Tacoma, and primarily that's because of the positioning of it. You know, it's all the way over and up. I'm used to all the way over and down. Now, I have gotten used to that. Uh, it's kind of sticking in my head a little bit that, gee, when you go in reverse, you got to go over and up and not over and down. Although I will say, to be honest, I have caught myself a few times, not actually done it, but thinking I should go over and back uh, to go into reverse. But I haven't done it again since the infamous traffic light uh, incident. Um, check out the other video for that. But anyway, it, it, is, uh, it is better as far as that goes. Getting into reverse is a little bit smoother than it was. Um, you do have to give it a little bit of a, a jolt. I find that in this truck anyway, if you kind of jolt it over, you know, not just a smooth push, but kind of a slam over, if you will, uh, before you go up into reverse, it does seem to take a little bit better, does seem to go into reverse a little bit better. So first gear, it is short. First and second gear in this truck, or second gears in this truck, are, are pretty short. They're not a lot to run out. In other words, you don't stay in them very long once you engage, right? You're at the stoplight, stop sign, wherever you're at, take off in first gear, and it's, uh, it's pretty quick that you need to go into second, and then just a little bit longer, but again, pretty quick that you need to go into third. Now, the transition between the gears does seem to be a little bit smoother. And one thing I will mention uh, that I've noticed, uh, again, going back to the reverse issue in this truck, is that you barely have to go over. You just gently go over to the left before you go up into first. It's a pretty smooth transmission or transition uh, once you do that. I think part of my problem before was I was just used to going all the way over and if you do that in this truck, you're, you're heading towards reverse. So if you just go kind of a, a smooth little push over to the left and then up, first gear is pretty good. Now, what I call vapor lock. I don't know what the, what the real term for it is, but I still am noticing that, for instance, if I'm coming up to a light, and the way that I drive in a manual, you know, if I'm coming up to a light and I've slowed down, I kind of just hold the clutch in, coast up to the light, and then I'll come out of gear and go over into first. Now, I'm still noticing that doing that, or in doing that, it's difficult to get into first sometimes. It won't go into first. You push up, there's resistance, and it just doesn't go. It's almost like it's a little locked up in there. That's why I say vapor lock, right? Like it's a little locked up in there, right? So I have to double clutch. 
you know, I pull up, it won't go into first, and this is occasionally, maybe every tenth time or so it happens, but I'll pull up and I try to go into first and I can't get there, so I have to let the clutch out, I'm in neutral of course, pump it again, put it down, or maybe pump it a couple of times, push it back down, and then I can get into first no problem. Now I will say that this isn't the first vehicle that I've had that happen in. Um, there have been other transmissions that I've had like that, and strangely enough, they had all the other characteristics of this transmission as well. In other words, they were a little bit clunky and a little bit noisy, so I'm wondering if it really wasn't the same or isn't the same transmission. You know what I mean? Because the manual transmission's been around for years. I don't believe Toyota has upgraded or changed anything in the manual, so it's entirely possible that these older man tra manual transmissions that I had are indeed the same transmission that are in this truck. There aren't a lot of transmission builders in the world, especially to the scale that a mass producer would need. So it's certainly possible that the same transmission is in this truck that I had in other trucks years ago. Who knows? So those are the two uh, little nuances that I'm still experiencing, the clunk, the rattle and the uh, the little vapor lock, I'll call it, with first gear. Otherwise, as I mentioned, things are definitely improving. Uh, the transmission is getting a bit smoother, um, a little bit more pleasant to drive. And one thing I will mention, you know, I got a lot of negative comments on that first video where I was simply giving my honest opinion. Um, I don't hate the transmission in this truck. Not by any means. I love this truck. I love having a manual transmission in it. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I wouldn't go back to a manual. So I just want to make that clear. I'm just being critical um, so that people know what to expect, I guess. If you're looking to go to a manual transmission 2020 Tacoma, these are kind of the things you can expect, at least in my experience. Now, maybe I'm more sensitive to these kind of things. It's certainly possible. We're all sensitive to different things, right? People talk about the seats. People talk about the ride quality. People talk about the radio. The automatic transmission in the manual to or in the uh, 2018 Tacoma was a great example. You know, everybody complained about it hunting gears and never staying where they wanted to stay. I never experienced that myself. I never had any issues with that. So we're all sensitive to different things, of course. So I'm just giving you my take on it and what it feels like to me. Again, I don't hate the manual transmission in the 2020 Tacoma. Uh, I love driving this truck. I wouldn't say it's awesome. We're not going to use awesome to describe the, uh, the transmission in this truck. But it certainly is fun to drive, and I am perfectly satisfied with it. Glad that I got it. It's just the way that it is. I know. It's a truck, right? Anyway, just kind of wanted to uh, give you guys a little update on, uh, on my experience with the manual transmission in the 2020 Tacoma. Let me know if you've got a 2020 by chance with a manual transmission. What are your thoughts on it? Are you experiencing any of these things? I'd be curious. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other channel. It is Rob Motion, all about the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. You can kind of see it a little bit back there. And one other thing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way, you won't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.